Hi everyone. Now we will start the fourth topic of module 2, floodlight tags. This is one very important part to understand how the reporting mechanism works from the advertiser end. So let's start. Floodlight tag is again a very small piece of code which has got only three functions. The first one is to track the conversion. The second one is to build the remarketing audience list. And the third one is creative informant. So whenever a campaign is rendered or whenever an ad is rendered onto a respective website or a publisher website, a user in interacts with that ad. So once it interacts with the ad, it gets redirected to some specific destination if either it can be a website either it can be a, a app information or a purchase so once he interacts and lands onto the respective platform what advertiser has set for the user to land to in that particular landing the floodlight tag fires and once the floodlight tag fires from the reporting standpoint the complete life cycle or the journey of the ad is completed. So a user sees an ad, it, he, in, he or she interacts with that ad and then gets redirected onto the respective platform what the advertiser has set and there they implement the floodlight to just to record that what all users are coming onto their platform. So that's the end-to-end -end, uh, mechanism that happens and that gives the information that how their campaign uh, is performing that how many people have seen the ad and uh, that information can be rendered by the ad tag versus how many people that they have you know landed onto the platform what the advertiser has said that information can be tagged by the floodlight tag again the floodlight tag is also used to build an audience list so whenever the floodlight tag fires it records that user into a bucket so again this this floodlight tag can be used for, for that uh, information. Creative in information. Creative information, if you're using a dynamic remarketing strategy or you're using a dynamic creatives where you want to make sure uh, that if a user sees an ad, interacts with the ad, lands onto the website, search for some kind of a products like accessories or any kind of a product that you are selling. And he just drops off before interacting or making the purchase. So the moment they walks out of the website or the platform, then you can target those user again because they have that information. The floodlight records that information uh, within within the UI within the uh, backend frame on which particular product the user was, what type of uh, product he was searching, the image and everything. And then the creative information is stored and by the help of the remarketing, dynamic remarketing strategy, you can target those users again across the uh, different pools of uh, publishers or the network, uh, you know, publisher network, you can again track down. The best example is, let's take a uh, talk about Amazon. You, you are watching or seeing some kind of a product, you liked it. And before making a purchase, you just drop off from the website. So during every step, they have implemented the floodlight. And the moment you drop off, they know that, okay, the purchase life cycle is not being done. The sale funnel is not completed. So they record. And the moment you start navigating across different websites, they try to retarget the same user with some discounts or with some uh, offers that uh, might likely again you can rethink of that product so floodlight tags also plays you know as i said it plays a very important role in making the action of the user who visits your site after viewing or clicking on one of your app so you can understand the importance of the floodlight now let's talk about the types of floodlight available in uh, double click campaign manager we just have two types of uh, floodlight Tax. One is a counter and one is the sales. The counter is subdivided into three different types of tax, and the sales is divided into two types of uh, sub subdivided into two types of tax. The first one is counter, the standard. Standard floodlight will fire every time 
whenever a user lands onto the platform, it can be website or an app. Unique, they, they define certain parameter to make sure that unique user is, is defined within 24 hours or within uh, you know certain time period. They, def, they set that parameter for a certain time period. Session, floodlight will fire only once a session is defined. The session can be for 30 minutes, the session can be for uh, you know one hour and once the session ex expires, if the same user is coming back again, the floodlight will fire again. And if Let's take example, uh, the session is defined for one hour. The user sees the website, drops off, and again he comes within, uh, you know, within one hour. The floodlight won't fire at that point of time because the session is for one hour and the user has come onto the site within that one hour of time frame. Sales uh, tag is really important for those who are running an e-commerce platform or shopping segment where you can actually capture the information for the item sold or item being transacted so this floodlight you know if you're using a floodlight and a sales type floodlight then you have to use between item and transaction or you can use both the combinations item will tell about the products that on what particular product the user is is navigating to and a transaction will tell about the amount of sales purchase done for the product or you know they will start recording uh, the amount of you know the monetary standpoint of, of the platform of the e-commerce platform so if you want to know the report of how many uh, revenue that you have generated you can e easily uh, you know get this information from transaction and one consolidated report can give you the complete information about that so these are the two types of uh, floodlight tags the detail the more detailed uh, you know uh, things are being given into the course material i would request the user to just go on to the link it is a Google support page where the types of floodlight is defined. Read it. If you have some doubts or questions, leave the questions onto the comment section. I would love to answer those questions. Thank you.